right, welcome back. Panic as kidnappers contact families of passengers abducted on Benin Auchi Road. All right, the news in detail. The kidnappers who abducted passengers of an Abuja bound bus along the Benin Auchi Road on Tuesday have contacted the families of the victims for ransom before they can be released. A source who is close to one of the families of the abductees disclosed that the family members were already looking for money to pay the ransom and have their relations released from captivity before the yell entered. The source added that beside the 14 passengers who were kidnapped in the single Toyota Hayas belonging to one of the popular transport outfits in Benin, other commuters in other vehicles were also kidnapped and on the same spot by the same gang. This was just as armed robbers swooped on commuters who parked by the road to avoid running into the kidnapping session and disposed, and disposed them of their belongings. I can confirm to you that the families of the abducted passengers have been contacted by the government. Some families are already making efforts to raise money to free their people. The source affirmed, Confirming the incident 24 hours after the Edo Police Command said the bus in which the passengers were kidnapped belonged to Big Joe Transport Company. The command's police public relations officers, PPRO Chidi Unwabuzo, said the police moved in almost immediately to rescue the kidnapped passengers. Mwabuzo said a bus belonging to Big Joe was intercepted by hoodlums referred to as kidnappers. While that was going on, the nearby police formation responded, repelled the hoodlums and rescued some passengers with three persons taken away to the bush. Investigation is still ongoing involving the police in L and other tactical teams. Investigation is still ongoing involving the police in L and other tactical teams. They started combining the bush the moment the incident happened and hoping that these victims will be rescued. All right, source Vanguard. All right, and that has been said so far on this one. Hmm. A lot are actually happening in this country as we speak right now. A lot of things had gone wrong. Well, it's only God that will help us. Now, a lot of people have you know, been kidnapped this period and they are still kidnapping. And that's why they have said that majority, everybody, try as much as possible to remain where you are for the, for the time being. Because this period is the period whereby kidnappers are just you not know, there to disturb people. To you know, I don't know, because now a lot of people have said it before now that there is no security and now that people need to travel. You can imagine now that people need to travel. Hmm, everybody in Dallas needs to be very careful. And every now and then, they have seen that okay, no police station to report, no soldiers on the road. These people are just there, and I know the bad thing is, as soon as these people have been kidnapped. When, after they must have collected ransom, the next thing they will still kill them. That is the problem. That is the issue. After the whole thing, they will still kill these people. What is happening in this country? Now the families of you know, the victims are prepared to pay any amount, provided these people come out safely. But when has it not be, be, been a crime that you, to go visit your own people, not a problem. It's not everybody that that have have money for flight. Even with the flight of a thing, they are still kidnapping people house to house. Kai, God of miracle, what is going on in Nigeria? And a lot of people have been that. Well, the thing is, 
if you know you don't have any tangible thing to do where you are going to better remain where you are remain where you are in fact even if you even if you have tangible things to do this period this time around be yourself remain where you are be your lane that is what everybody is saying right now remain where you are it's very important it's very important the good lord will continue to protect us all in this country because now this kidnap rate is no is getting it fact it has gotten out of hand right now because even of no of recent it's not it's been long it has also been gathered that gunmen kidnapped pfn chairman wife one other person in kaduna you can imagine a lot of things have just happened now and according to this news it, it was gathered that reports by the security agencies revealed that ba uh, baka was kidnapped along with his wife cindy and one other person on christmas day you can imagine in jama local government area of the state hmm. and then according to reports that has been gathered it was gathered that the commissioner for internal security and home affairs in kaduna samuel aruan confirmed the incident in a statement on saturday and then he explained that unidentified gunmen attacked the abaka praying camp along the afana fadan kagoma koi road and started shooting sporadically well and uh, it was gathered that in the process a vehicle was hit by her bullet while the pfn chairman his wife and the other victim were taken away from the camp so uh, and then arwa noted that security operatives promptly arrived at the location and pursued the kidnappers who were however able to escape with the victims can imagine all sorts they were able to you know escape with the victims well in his reaction the pfn chairman in cross river state lawrence equok condemned the incident and called for the immediate release of baka and his wife as well as the other person abducted by the gunmen and then equok who made the call in a statement described the incident which occurred on christmas day generally recognized worldwide as a day of peace and joy as not only callous but wicked and insensitive okay and uh, it is it decried a situation where preachers of the gospel of jesus christ have become the target of kidnappers and called for urgent attention to address the situation i mean while the clergyman describing the security situation in the country as terrible and appealed to the security agencies to ensure the immediate release of the apostle so you can imagine what we are talking about right now even in even when you are in your own home you can imagine this is not even only about you traveling on the road and they are kidnapping even in your own home you can imagine in the camp where people are you no know, people are praying and the next thing the the so-called kidnappers are to invade that place and kidnap men of god that is to tell you that <clears throat> the level to which these people have not gained ground is no nothing to write, write home about and this is so unfortunate it's so unfortunate that all these are happening and that is it it's so unfortunate it's unfair so we are just praying that the good lord should continue to protect the land no though we need to be very careful also but even at that hmm. well and my people that is just it on this one Maybe, well let me have more take from you on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless